Hello everyone, let's start with question number 4. So again in this case we need to find the zeros and verify the relation. Now in this case you can see the highest degree is 3. So if highest degree is 3 that means it is a cubic type of polynomial. So ft equals t cube minus 2t square minus 515t. So this is the type of cubic polynomial we have here. Now we need to find zeros of same. So again we need to equate it equal to 0. Now you can see very well that here we have t common in all the terms. So what we will do is we will take t common first from all the terms. So we are left with t square in the first term. Then 2t. Then we have minus 15 equals 0. Now what we can do is we can apply middle term splitting in the bracket part as it is a form of quadratic equation. So we have t outside bracket t square minus 2t minus 15. So 15 and 1 a and c that is 1 and 15. So 1 and 15 is 15 only. Now we need to find the factor such that they make minus 2t. So it will be minus 5 and it will be 3. So we can write it as t square minus 5t plus 3t minus 15 equals 0. Now again we need to use the same method like we did in earlier cases. So it will be we need to take common t from first two terms. So it will be t minus 5. Then for the last terms we need to take 3 common. We are left with t minus 5. So here we get 3 values that is t. Another is p plus 3, another is t minus 5 equal 0. So here we are with 3 values or 3 zeros that is t equals 0 and we have t plus 3 equals 0. Then we have t minus 5 equals 0. So the first one is t equals 0 that is alpha. Now the second one will be beta, beta will be minus 3. And gamma will be positive 5. So we have now three zeros of cubic polynomial that is alpha, beta and gamma. So now what we need to do is we need to find the sum of zeros. Sum of zeros for cubic polynomial is alpha plus beta plus gamma. Alpha is 0, beta is minus 3, gamma is 5. So sum of zeros is 2. Now we need to verify the answer with minus b over a. So in this case my minus my b and a is b is 2 and a is 1. Why? Because it is of the form of ax cube bx square plus cx plus d. In this case d is missing. The constant term here it is missing. So a is 1, b is minus 2, c is minus 15. Now minus b over a minus as it is b in this case is minus 2 and a is 1. So minus minus gets cancelled out. We are left with 2. So hence verify for sum of zeros. Now the second term is product of zeros taken at time. So it will be alpha dot beta plus beta dot gamma plus gamma gamma dot alpha. So now we need to find the values for these. So the first term is 0. Why 0? Because alpha is 0. 0 into minus 3 is 0. Now beta dot gamma minus 3 into 5. So minus 15. Gamma into alpha. It will be 0. Plus 0. It equals minus 15. Now, now we know by formula it is minus it is sorry it is c over a so c in this case is 50 this is here and a is 1 so it will be 15 over 1 minus 15 sorry it will be minus 15 over 1 hence verified for the second part now what we need to do is we need to find for the product of zeros that is alpha dot beta dot gamma. So 0 
into any number that is beta or gamma will be zero only. Now the formula of coefficient is minus d over a. Now we know that there is no d in the above equation, so it will be zero only. So hence proof. So that's your answer for question number four. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.